Size dumpster filled to the brim with single use plastic takeout containers that he's planning to throw away. Okay, dumpster, this will be our little secret. Don't tell anyone about all this plastic waste I'm making, especially Guy Raz, or Mindy, or Reggie, or the children of the world. There we go. That takes care of that. I know, so wasteful. Well, anywho, I've got a solution that might put a stop to that problem. But first, I need to get into this costume. Okay, Reg, I've got the head, uh, the eyes, and the abdomen. Now, I just need the legs. Think you could give me a wing and help me attach them? Thanks, buddy. One leg, two legs, three legs, four legs, five legs, six legs, seven legs, eight legs, and one more leg, because I just like to be a little extra. Hey, Reg, how do I look? Whoa, Reggie, Mindy, is that you up there? Guy Rozzy! Why are you on the roof of your gingerbread mansion dressed up like a nine-legged spider? I know, why not? I mean... I mean, is there some kind of costume parade I'm not aware of, or... Or am I just dressed up like this for science? Huh. Why would you be dressed up like a nine-legged spider for science? I mean... Morning, Guy. Oh, morning, Spider Mindy. Wow, you look terrifying. I like the extra leg. Mindy, why don't you come down here so you can explain what's going on? Oh, happy to, Guy Raz. But I've got some work to do on my way down. What? Reggie, the spinnerets. Here, just attach them to my abdomen here. Thank you. Hey, Spider Mindy, what did Reggie put on you? It looks like... Six belly buttons. What, Dennis? Oh, oh, I think I see it. Yeah, what? I don't think those are belly buttons, Dennis. Oh, uh, well, what are they? Those appear to be her spinnerets. They're what spiders use to spin silk threads and... What? They're raisinets? No. Give me a countdown, Reg! <laughs> What in the... Wow! <gasps> Guy, did you see that? Uh... Spider Mindy jumped off her roof and landed on my roof! Mindy? And she pooped out a clear plastic rope and made a bridge between our houses! A bridge? Hey, Guy Ross! Dennis! Watch this! Okay! <laughs> What is she doing? Is she leaping between her house and yours, Dennis? Yeah, and she's pooping out more of that strange plastic rope. Uh... It looks like she's making a net? No. No, way! Spider Mindy is building a spider web. Hardcore, parkour! Woo-hoo! What in the wow? Uh, spider Mindy, do the little webby spiral in the middle. Gotcha, Dennis! Spiraling, 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 Oh, yeah, that's spiraling, nice. Spiraling, spiraling. Mindy, Mindy, can you please come down from that web and explain to all of us what it is you're doing? All right. 
<sighs> Got a real mess in there to clean up, Guy Raz. Uh-huh. Yeah, what's all the racket out here? I can't hardly hear myself think about nothing. What? <gasps> Grandma G-Force! Hugs! Why is that nine-legged tarantula talking? Oh, no, Grandma G-Force, it's me! Who? What in the world wide web? Would you look at that? A web! That's some expert craftsmanship right there, too. Looks to be made out of some kind of soy protein isolate. Wait, uh, say that again, Thomas Fingerling. Huh? I said, what in the world wide web? It's uh, kind of my catchphrase. No, no, not that part. The last part. Oh, you mean it looks to be made out of some kind of soy protein isolate? <laughs> Soy protein isolate. Aha! Yes! Now this is all starting to make sense. Yay! So does that mean that you're cool with me crashing through the window of your micro house, Guy Raz? No, it definitely does not mean that. <laughs> but what it does mean is that I now understand what you were doing building that human-sized spider web, Mindy. You do? Yes, yes, you were doing it. For science! Make it stop! No, no, no groaning! Now, please uh, allow me to explain. No! <sighs> you see, spider silk is one of the strongest and most durable materials on Earth. Oh. Oh. And if we could supersize a spider web to human size, it would be five times stronger than steel. Oh, snap. Guy Raz is right, everyone. A human sized spider web would be strong enough to trap up. A... You know what? Why tell you when I could just show you? Oh, what are you going to do now? Okay, Dennis? Uh huh. Dennis? Yeah, what? Here are the keys to my ice cream truck. Uh huh. I need you to pull it around the front here, okay? Aye, aye, Captain. I mean, Spider Mindy. I mean,. Captain Spider Mindy? <laughs> and Thomas Fingerling. Present. Remember that time you threatened to blast Grandma G Force out of a cannon if she didn't quit eating your deodorant sticks? Oh, yeah. Gotta keep my deodorant away from both G Force and my cat. What? Oh, you don't like the taste of Mountain Breeze, boy? <sighs> So what? You want my deodorant too, Mandy? What? No! I want the cannon! Go get the cannon! Oh, gotcha. All right. Come on, G-Force. I'm gonna need some muscle. Well, I guess. <laughs> Mindy, does all of this spiderweb stuff have anything to do with that recent study that came out of the University of Cambridge in the United Kingdom? Oh, you mean the one published in the scientific journal Nature Communications? Yeah, that's the one. You know that study? Well, yeah. I was just reading about how these researchers used plant proteins to replicate or copy the silk that spiders create to spin their webs. Yes, plant proteins. Specifically, one called soy protein isolate, which is really just a fancy way of saying the protein taken out of soybeans and in fact, you'd find these in things like veggie burgers and fake meat. And from what I read in this study, it sounds like they researched how the molecules in spider silks are structured or arranged so they could do the same with these plant proteins. Exactly! Kind of like recreating a puzzle using different materials that could act the same way. Yes! So once this team of researchers unlocked the secret to how spider silks are formed... Kind of like getting a sneak peek at the picture on the puzzle box? Yeah, once they did that, they had all the information they needed to essentially create spider silks of their own. Yes, but they did not create spider silks for spider webs. Instead, they created something that looked a little different, something called a polymer film, which looks like a thin sheet of plastic, but it's not. 
Nope, it's 100% genuine vegan or plant-based spider silk. Uh Uh-huh. But instead of looking like a spider web, it looks more like the plastic wrap that you use to wrap up your leftovers. Honk, honk! I'm back! Oh, hey, Dennis! You're just in time! And I'm the one. Hey, Mandy! We got the cannon you asked for. Uh. Oh, thanks, Thomas Fingerling. You can leave it right there in front of my giant spider web. Okie doke. So, wait a minute. Is that what you've done here, Mindy? Uh, Did you create this spider web out of your own plant based vegan spider silk? Handcrafted by yours truly in my very own laboratory of bad ideas. Wow, that's incredible. (laughs) Oh, and that's not even the most incredible part. It's not? No. Remember how we were saying how strong spider webs are? Yeah, and how if we were to supersize them to human size, kind of like you did here, it would be five times stronger than steel. Yep. Now is the time to test it out and see for ourselves. Uh, does this have anything to do with Dennis behind the wheel of your ice cream truck and Grandma G-Force climbing into that cannon? Uh, G-Force, I don't think you're going to fit. Give the old tush a push. <laughs> it has everything to do with that guy, Roz. Dennis! Yep? I want you to back that truck up, and when I say three, I want you to rev up the engine and gun it into my spider web, okay? You got it, Spider Mindy. Are you sure this is a good idea, Mindy? Yes, of course I'm not sure this is a good idea, Guy Raz. But anything for science, right? There are exceptions to that rule. Okay, Dennis, get ready to slam on the gas. In three, two, one! Ah, uh, oops. <sighs> oops! Oops, 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 oops! <sighs> nope, that's... No. Uh, uh, Dennis! I, I got it, I got it. Uh, you know how to drive! I know how to drive, Tommy! Uh, come on! Uh, Try it again, Dennis! I am trying it again, Mindy! But this piece of junk won't... Oh, wait, that's the clutch. That's the break. All right, I got it now. I just need to... Oh! Ow. <laughs> Success! I knew it would work! You did? No, I had no idea. This was a really risky experiment. But look, it paid off! And now my human-made spider web is holding both Dennis and my ice cream truck. Look how strong it is! Okay, I did it! I'm stuck now! You know, this is actually pretty incredible, Mindy. If scientists are able to create a material that's as strong and as durable as a spider silk, they could essentially use the same process to create materials that work the same way plastic does. Did someone say plastic? Because I, I don't I don't use plastic. I've never even heard of plastic before. And it, and it, 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 sounds, it sounds really bad for the environment to me. <sighs> yes, but they can make a plastic-like material that doesn't harm the earth the same way real plastic does, especially the plastics that we use once and then just throw away. What? Single-use plastic? <laughs> oh, who would do such a thing? Not me, that's for sure. Uh... And I definitely wouldn't have a whole dumpster full because that would just be awful. Does that boy never stop talking? Ah, who said that? Was it a ghost? Uh, him. Oh, yeah. G-Force is in the cannon. I, I forgot. <laughs> I mean, just imagine. With a discovery like this, we could be on our way to getting rid of those single-use plastics altogether. Yeah, I mean, this plant-based vegan spider silk is compostable, meaning that it can break down in a way that's helpful to the planet instead of hurtful. And creating it doesn't require anything from animals, well, uh, other than the inspiration behind it. Yay, Spider-Man Day! 
Ah, Dennis! And it can be an environmentally good alternative to all the plastic we humans use and waste every single day. And it also makes a great spider web for holding your ice cream truck. And your friend, Dennis. Are we ever going to get him down from there? Huh. I don't know. Well, maybe we could shoot him down with this here cannon. Oh! Tommy! No! Well, we ought to test how strong that web is. <laughs> Sorry, Thomas Fingerling, but we've already proved just how strong the web is. I mean, look at Dennis and the ice cream truck just stuck up inside of it. Yeah, just look. So you're not going to shoot me out of the cannon? No, I don't think we need to. Well, huh. But, you know, Guy Raz, scientists do have to test their experiments more than once to make sure that their findings are consistent. Yeah, boy, science. Mindy, you're going to shoot your own grandmother out of a cannon into a giant spider web? What? Of course I'm not going to do that, Guy Raz. <sighs> Phew. Thomas Fingerling is. Fire in the hole. What? <gasps> oh. oh, hey there, Granny G. Uh, Welcome to my web. Fingerling, you get me out of this thing. I'm stuck. All right, all right. Hold your horses. Let me just climb up here and I'll just... Uh-oh. Uh, 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 well, now I'm stuck. Somebody want to give me a hand? He's looking at you, Guy Raz. Get in there and help him out. Me? Why do I have to do it? It's your web. <sighs> Fine, I'll do it. Coming! Hurry it up, young lady. <sighs> you know, Reggie, that really is an impressive web she's woven. I mean, who knew that spider silk could inspire something strong enough to hold all of our friends in one ice cream truck? <laughs> Oh, no. I think I might be stuck. <gasps> you think you could, uh, come and rescue us? Save me, guy. All right. Here I come. Climb, climb. Oh, no. Oh, no. <gasps> uh, <laughs> oh, guy. I think I must be stuck. Oh, you think? Oh, hush, puppy. Don't worry, everyone. I know what to do. What? Just stay here forever, together, woven in an intricate tapestry of friendship and soy protein isolate. Oh, snap! Ah! Reggie! Save me, pigeon! <laughs> to record. Hello, Mindy and Guy Raz. My name is Ren, and I live in Denver, Colorado. My wow is that when you're in the mountains, the high altitude makes you pee more. Hi, my name is Abigail, and I'm from Marietta, California. My wow in the world is that wombat poop cube. Say hi to Dennis. Hi! Thomas Fingerling, huh? Reggie, <laughs> and Mindy and Guy Raz, Detectives at Large. Hi, Mindy and Guy Raz. This is Jolly from Frisco, Texas. My wow in the world is that Mars has a volcano the size of Arizona. Love your show. Say hi to Dennis and Reggie for me. Howdy. <laughs> hi, Mindy and Guy Raz. I'm Noelle from... Cape Elizabeth, Maine, and my wow in the world is that sand can be pink, black, and white. Bye. Hi, Mindy and Guy Wash. My name is Otis. My wow in the world is that a black hole can be as small as a atom, but as heavy as a mountain. Bye, Mindy and Guy Wash. Hi, Mindy, Hi, Mindy and Guy Wash. This is Charlotte. And this is Arthur. And we're from Youngstown, Ohio. And our wow in the world is that some octopuses can climb on land. 
Say hi to a static man. <laughs> Grandma G4. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't hear that. And what you for? <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hi, Mindy and Guy Raz. My name is Sammy, and I live in Jackson, Tennessee. And my wow in the world is that jellyfish breathe through their skin. Say hi to Reggie, <laughs> Grandma G Force. Oh, snap. Thomas Fingling. What? And Dennis. Hi there. Bye. Hi, Mindy and Guy Raz. My name is Sophia, and I live in Missouri. My wow in the world is that some birds like covering themselves in ants. When birds cover themselves in ants, it's called anting. If ants aren't handy, birds are known to use beetles and coffee. Say hi to Dennis, a.k.a. Static Man. I am Static Man! Grandma G-Force. Aw, oh, isn't that nice? Tom's Fingerling. Oop. Bucky, the Slay Cat, and Reggie. <laughs> Bye. End of messages. Wow in the World is written by Mindy Thomas and Tom Van Kalken with help from me, Guy Raz. Original sound design and music editing is done by our senior producer, Jed Anderson and Tyler Thull. You can also hear Jed Anderson in the voices of Dennis, Thomas Fingerling, Reggie, and many of the other silly characters you hear on our show. Jessica Bodie keeps our facts straight as our fact checker, and Meredith Halpern Ranzer powers the wow at Tinkercast. Our theme song was composed and performed by three time Grammy nominees, The Pop Ups. Find them at thepopups.com. Special thanks to the rest of our team of tinkerers, including Anna Zagorski, Rebecca Caban, Kit Ballinger, and Henry Moskal. To keep the wows rolling, visit us at tinkercast.com. There you can learn more about becoming an official member of the World Organization of Wowzers. Learn more about upcoming events, shop our shop, and pick up a copy of our new number one New York Times best-selling book, The How and Wow of the Human Body. Grown-ups, you can follow Wow in the World on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Wow in the World. And our email address is hello at tinkercast.com. And if you're a kid with a big wow to share with us, call us at 1-888-7-WOW-WOW for a chance to be featured at the end of our show or an upcoming episode of Two What's and a Wow. Thanks again for listening. And until next time, keep on wowing. Made by Tinkercast and sent to you by Wondery.